guys there are a few things you need to put in mind while you are doing life while you are navigating through life if you're in your 20s if you are still a teenager even if you're in your 30s there are some things you need to know and these things are going to really save you there are, there are things that will help you be a good person there are things that will help you navigate through life easily and they will just change your life they will make you you know they will help you develop yourself even more they will help you achieve your goals and they are very important guys let's get into the video welcome back to my channel hope you guys are doing well so today i'm just going to give you like a couple of things that i wish i knew many years ago and a couple of things i've learned along the line and i just said to share with you guys because i know it will be very helpful and very beneficial so the first thing i'm going to say is that you should learn everything you need to learn before you get to where you're going so that when you get there you can stay there there's this saying that say that goes um, character helps you stay somewhere but maybe your courage or your your intelligence can help you get to a particular position but your character will help you stay there i mean it's this has to be everything okay it can be your position at work it can be your you know it can be when you get married it can be so many different scenarios or situations you need to learn everything you need to learn before you get to where you are going if you are looking to get married for example wait a bit and learn what you need to learn so that when you get into the marriage you can stay okay because there are so many lessons that life will throw at us or there are so many things that life will throw at us and we need to have the wisdom we need to have the you know the resilience that is needed for certain things so if you are going to get into maybe you, you, you have a new job you have, you have like a leaders, leadership role learn how to be a leader so that when you get there you will stay there learn everything you need to learn in life before you get to where you are going it doesn't matter where you are going learn what you need to learn so that when you get there you can stay there i wish i knew this many years ago before i even started my business or my life you know i could have waited a bit more to learn a lot of things and i would have gone through all of the things i went through in my business and then and now burning out at the end of the day i'm saying this to the young generation people that have not even that are just starting life before you start whatever you want to start make sure you have all of the information make sure you have the character make sure you have everything learn all you have to learn before you go to where you are going so that when you get to where you are going you can stay there guys that's my first point so my second point will be that you should remember your values guys don't get carried away by what you see on social media a lot of things on social media they are just smokes and mirrors right they are not real okay you have the fake life you have the you know fast money you have the perfection everybody is perfect on social media everybody has the most romantic partner on social media everybody has the biggest house on social media everybody has everything going just perfectly everything is just perfect for them but well, a lot of these things are lies guys so don't don't let your character be affected don't lose your, your who you are to what social media is serving you on or even the internet generally not only social media guys make sure your values are intact don't lose your values don't lose your sense of self don't lose all of the things you were taught growing up you were brought up well right you are, you are trained in the ways of the lord you are brought up well and then you are now big you feel like you are now too big for anybody to correct the only people that can teach you they are on social media you're going to make a lot of mistakes and you might regret a lot of things try your best to even when you see some things on social media whatever you are learning or you are you know you are taking in you know you don't have to take everything every advice or every information you don't have to be affected by everything you see you can see your classmates or someone that you went to school with the person now has three range rovers and the person now has seven cars in dubai or seven houses in dubai but the person just did jam you guys probably just did jam together or you guys are both you know you just graduated or something you don't have to feel bad that the person is doing well. I mean, it is good for people to do well. You wish them well and you move on with your life. Don't try to compare yourself to people you are seeing online. Don't try to compare yourself to 
the fake life you are seeing because you would really be doing yourself a huge you know disservice if you do that guys try your best try everything you can to stay away from all of the false things that you are seeing online i'm not saying social media is bad it's a very good you know platform where you can sell creators i mean people are making millions on social media people are selling people are buying people are doing a lot of things on social media but then just be careful not to ingest the wrong um you know things don't your, your body image you are perfect the way you are don't feel like you need to get a bbl because everybody has a bbl on social media there's nothing wrong with your body you were made in the image of god there's nothing wrong with your finances don't worry, you don't need to go and start stealing or doing one thing or the other, you know, to feel like you're big. No, just calm down and just keep going and keep working and keep praying and keep trusting in God and keep just believing in yourself. But try not to lose your values. Do not lose your values. No matter what happens, don't lose your values, guys. So another thing I want to say is that you shouldn't spoil what you have now because of what you feel you don't have okay because of lack of contentment or because of lack of satisfaction don't spoil what you're already enjoying because remember something what you are enjoying now all the things you have now they were once a prayer point you once wished you lived that life you once wished you could do it now you are living it and it's suddenly not enough for you you are looking ahead you want something else what makes you feel like you'll be happy even when you get that something else you are looking forward to it, there's a very very high probability there's a very high possibility that you probably won't be happy even when you get to the higher level you want to get to because you you are just not satisfied you're not contented and you don't even know the source of your joy okay your joy should be tied to god and what god who god is who he is who what he like not what he can do for you but for who he is your joy should be tied to that you should your joy should not be tied to your achievements to your followers to your cars or to your your relationship that that should be the source of your joy okay so let your joy don't be don't get dismayed or discouraged i mean i wish i knew this many years ago i wish i knew this many years ago because at the time my joy was tied to my my my, my business my source of income and each time something went wrong i just shut down i just shut down emotionally and mentally and it was it took the grace of the holy spirit to teach me that your joy should be tied to god if it happens for you hallelujah if it doesn't happen for you praise jesus okay don't let things of the world be your source of joy so be content with what you have be thankful for what you have because you have you are living better than a lot of people you have it all but you just don't know it and you're just not thankful for it okay so the next thing i'm going to say is that you should put it in mind that you are your biggest fan encourage yourself don't forget to encourage yourself sometimes you need to just pick yourself up encourage yourself and say ah i'm worth it i'm amazing i can do this i can do all things there's nothing i cannot do god loves me i was made in the image of god you know love yourself encourage yourself be full of yourself in that sense not in an arrogant way but like just know that oh my goodness i'm worth a lot and when you when you encourage yourself and love yourself there are so many things that won't mean so much to you there are so many things you let go of you just say that you are growing and you are maturing like and you are happier you are you know you are more at peace like things that used to get to you before will not get to you again because you are, you are encouraging, encouraging yourself that okay you've done this you've done your best now it's time for you to leave the rest it's time for you to rest and leave God to do his own and all of that. So you're like, you know, encourage yourself, fall in love with yourself, guys. It is very important. You know, for many years, I didn't know this, but when I knew this, from the moment I knew this, right, my life changed forever for, for the best, okay? So yeah, try to encourage yourself. You are your biggest fan. Don't be the one bringing yourself down. Don't bring yourself down with your tongue. Don't say negative things to yourself. Don't bring yourself down with your overthinking. You know, don't bring yourself down with negative thoughts and you know all sorts of things. Doing things you shouldn't do. Know who you are. Okay. Encourage yourself and be your biggest fan. 
be your number one fan guys leave all your battles to god don't seek revenge don't seek revenge it's not worth it okay you can't you can't really pay people back the way god will pay them back in which if someone has offended you but just pray just leave it to god try your best not to seek revenge guys try your best not to seek revenge and try your best to just leave things learn to leave things to god learn to leave things to god there's no point you don't need to okay <laughs> the very the most popular revenge that a lot of people um try to seek is the relationship type where maybe you had someone you were dating and then you guys broke up and then you are hoping the person ends up with a worse worse um spouse or a worse partner so your revenge maybe you'll not be praying or you'll not be cursing the person or you'll not be you'll be very shocked that the person will end up with a better person right but the person, because the person hurt you you feel like oh you need to revenge just leave it to god if the person really did something bad to you God will fight your battles and it will sort you. Don't worry, like you'd you'll be okay. Okay, guys. Sorry for the I forgot to put my phone on silence. Alright, guys, thank you so much for your support. Thank you for watching my videos. I hope you've enjoyed this video. I will see you guys in my next video. Don't forget to you know support me by liking, sharing, subscribing. Bye guys.